1969, a western came out called 100 Rifles. The film starred Jim Brown, Burt Reynolds, and Raquel Welch. This movie had almost become completely forgotten. It was notorious at the time for being the first major Hollywood production to offer an interracial love scene. But if you talk to critics at the time, they thought it was a lousy picture, with only a few things that redeemed it, like the scene where the beautiful Raquel Welch takes a public shower under a water tank. Like most of the Hollywood westerns in the late 1960s, this one was shot in Spain, and as time has gone by, this movie has been reevaluated, and today it has really become a sort of cult classic. The film takes place in the northern Mexican region of Sonora around 1900 and is set against the background of a cleansing by the Mexican government. The Yaqui Indians are deported because they slow the work of the railroad down. Most of them have already been deported to the southern regions where they are used as slaves, but there are small groups that continue to resist this takeover. The story is about a black deputy sheriff from Arizona who accidentally becomes involved in their rebellion. This is caused by him crossing the border with Mexico to capture a half-white, half-Yaqui Indian who robbed a bank and used the loot to buy 100 rifles to arm his people. The black sheriff played by Jim Brown is very reluctant to join the Yaqui in their fight. That is, however, until he falls for their fiery leader played by none other than Raquel Welch. Chuck Robertson, who was John Wayne's longtime stuntman, was meant to double for Jim Brown on some of the riskier stunts. The director planned on putting makeup on his face to conceal the fact that he was white. Burt Reynolds was not happy about this and stated that he felt those days were gone and that they better get a black stuntman on the set. The production manager stated that it wasn't in the budget, so Burt Reynolds ended up paying $500 out of his own pocket to hire the black stuntman. This movie was filmed in the same area of Almeria, Spain, that the television series Rat Patrol was filmed in. This is a brutal place. When they filmed Rat Patrol, they really struggled with the elements, and the same thing held true for this movie. In the film, Fernando Lamas plays a big role and is one of the stars of the film. According to his wife Esther Williams, during the filming, Jim Brown defied Lamas just so he could have a fist fight with him. This was meant to prove his physical superiority over Lamas, but the one thing he didn't count on was Lamas being an expert in karate. Lamas ended up teaching Jim Brown a lesson. While they were filming the fight on top of the cliff, Jim Brown mentioned to Burt Reynolds that he wasn't too keen about being so close to the edge. Burt Reynolds laughed it off and replied, if we fall, the newspapers will say Jim Brown and an unknown actor died tragically. One of the most memorable shots in the film is where Raquel Welch takes a shower under the water tower as the trainload of men pass by. They considered having her nude, but settled on a wet t-shirt look. Burt Reynolds commented later on that the scene was much more impactful and sexy, letting your mind run free. This is one of the first movies to ever feature a love scene between people of different races, that being Jim Brown and Raquel Welch. According to numerous reports, Jim Brown insisted they have a towel between them so that their bare skin would never touch. It was never revealed why he requested this, but it was thought to have lessened the impact of it while filming. According to Raquel Welch, during an interview back in 1968, the role that Jim Brown played wasn't originally a black character, which is why the romance between the two characters was written, but they ended up keeping it in the screenplay once they had cast Jim Brown. This movie is sometimes called a spaghetti western, but it actually isn't. That term is applied to westerns that were filmed by European companies, usually Italian, with a mainly Italian cast and crew. These films were, however, shot in Spain, 
which was the same location for 100 rifles. Because the terrain closely resembles the Northeast Mexico, Southwest United States area. Although it was shot in Spain, it was produced by an American studio, 20th Century Fox, and it had an American director, producer, writers, and even most of the crew were American. Burt Reynolds plays the role of a half-white, half-Yaqui Indian in the movie. Reynolds had previously played a Navajo Indian in the film Navajo Joe in 1966. Reynolds made the statement many times that he was a descendant of the Cherokee Indians, but it was never verified. It's kind of strange, too, that he also played Indians on two television series as well. He played an Indian on Gunsmoke in 1955, and he played an Indian in Hawk in 1966. There have been many stories about the turmoil between the actors in this movie. Jim Brown says that he and Raquel Welch clashed numerous times during the filming. He stated that the thing he wanted to avoid most was any suggestion that he was coming on to Raquel. So he kind of withdrew and wasn't very social with her. Raquel felt suspicious and concerned that both Bert and Jim would steal the spotlight from her. She was very hung up on who was getting the close-up and who had more lines. It was said that Burt Reynolds was a stabilizing influence between these two stars. He said that he had various talks with Raquel and tried to assure her that nothing was going on to try to steal scenes from her. Reynolds said he spent so much time trying to referee fights between Jim and Raquel that he didn't have time to think about his own part. Eventually, Burt Reynolds and Raquel also had a falling out while they were making the movie. So three years later, when they were both starring in the movie Fuzz, Raquel agreed to do the movie only if she didn't have any scenes with Burt Reynolds. They would remain enemies until 1982, when the producers of Cannery Row fired Welch, claiming that she was unprofessional. Reynolds ended up testifying on her behalf, saying they didn't like each other, but that she was always on time, always well prepared, and was a thorough professional. Raquel ended up winning the lawsuit in part to Burt Reynolds. During an interview after Burt Reynolds had passed away, Raquel Welch said that she realized quickly after filming began that Burt had a powerful magnetism and a natural presence on screen. She said she was really afraid that he was going to steal her scenes away from her, so she came up with the idea to take her bra off and leave it off. When she walked back on the set, no one could take their eyes off of her. Although this film has its share of shortcomings, it's hard to understand why it's been neglected for such a long time. The fast pace, superb action sequences, and three superstar actors makes this a great movie and one worth watching again. If you enjoyed this video, Check out the description for links that help support the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.